Dear students, in this module we will discuss the source of phylogenetics or the variation in sequences. The variation in sequences arise from the evolution within the species. So the sequences within the species also evolve. Every species that we know remembers the environment in which it lives through its DNA. So all the changes that have occurred in the environment are stored in the DNA. Some of the changes are ignored because of the short span of those uh, changes, but the changes that perpetuate are stored by the organism in its DNA. So the DNA then is translated into the proteins. The proteins are the executive molecules and the memory that is there within the DNA is transformed or translated into the proteins towards executing the instructions that the cell remembers. Therefore, if you are exposed to an environment which is different from the earlier ones, then your DNA is going to change and it is going to remember those changes and these changes will take effect in the form of proteins that will be produced from that DNA. Now, we must understand at this stage that the changes an organism goes through, the DNA changes that is, are very diverse because the species can go through a huge, hugely diverse environment. Therefore, the DNA the changes that the DNA has can also be massive. So these changes over time are all stored in the sequence. And therefore, this is the source of phylogenetics, the evolution of sequences. The sequence can be of the DNA or the RNA or the proteins. There are three ways in which the DNA, for instance, can be modified. So the first one is the mutation and substitution. So wherein one nucleotide is substituted by another or mutates into another. So in this way, the DNA sequence is changed and of course the proteins that will be translated from the DNA will also be different. Secondly, there can be an insertion. There can be a new nucleotide that can be incorporated into the DNA sequence. So this can shift the entire sequence in the DNA by one nucleotide and this can, uh, this can lead to very serious changes in terms of the proteins that can be formed. Similarly, if a nucleotide is deleted, so the DNA sequence becomes one uh, less in terms of the nucleotides and can lead to major changes in the proteins that are translated from the DNA. Now, these three types of changes combined with the very large time in which a species evolved, taken together, can give rise to a vast diversity in terms of the sequences. Some species can evolve using some evolutionary path which is totally different from the other evolutionary paths in the other species. Similarly, the same species can also go through different environments. So for instance, if you take a monkey and you put it in Africa versus a monkey in Pakistan, then the evolution that these two monkeys of the same species will go through may just be very different. So as you can observe from all of these factors that there can be a lot of variations and all of these variations can lead to creation of phylogenetic relationships. More so, these unique evolutionary pressures can cause unique changes in the DNA and therefore speciation may occur wherein a totally new species is created. 
So you may not be in a position to say that the monkey in Pakistan versus the monkey in Africa are totally the same after a prolonged evolutionary period. And this needs to be incorporated in the phylogenetic tree as well. More so, the combination of these evolutionary factors can lead to a lot of different species, organisms, different types of species within a type, and so on and so forth. To represent this, as I mentioned earlier, a phylogenetic tree is the ideal tool. So in conclusion, the evolutionary events and their sequence, the order of these evolutionary events, can impart unique traits to the species. And the species therefore formed can then be linked together by a phylogenetic tree by evaluating the DNA or the protein sequences taken from different species. Also, several computational tools and algorithms exist which can help you to create these phylogenetic trees.